In this video, I want to show you how we run Nmap as a client on a Ubuntu machine to attack a, another machine which is running IIS. So in this video, we will demonstrate exactly how that is done. IIS is a web server. So Nmap is going to try and get all the information that is possible from that machine. This is the machine that I'm running here. It's running Wireshark here. So I will be doing a reverse scan as well. I'll explain that in a second. But let's just go to IIS and let's look at the local host information. And here you'll see that it's running IIS, as I said. But let's just go and find out how we can find out more information about this machine. So let's go back to Nmap. And from there, we'll go and type in some commands and get some data of that particular machine and show you how a hacker would use this information. So I type in nmap, nmap, sorry. And I want to get a list of all the commands available. So let's just look at the help and let's see all the commands that are listed here that we can use nmap for. So I'll explain more on these options later. But for now, we're just going to do a demo. And that way, you will see exactly how data is obtained by nmap and how a hacker would use this for personal gain. Now, let's type in nmap. And I need to type minus capital A. And A is to enable OS detection as I highlight here. It's OS detection and version detection. So that's will tell us what operating system, what version is running and I'll explain minus O will give me more information about the operating system. So it's more operating system detection as listed here. I also want to put a, an additional command here dash VV, which will give me a increased verbosity, which will give me an increased data list of exactly what's going on some more details about what's happening on that particular victim or attack machine. So now let's just go to the IP address. This is the IP address here 52.32.0 38.110. Let me confirm that. Yes, that looks fine. So that's the IP address. Now, this is Wireshark. Wireshark also will allow me to see the packets that are coming from the hacking machine. So I want to do a reverse scan. So this is the IP address of my machine that I'm running the Nmap from. So we'll be able to see the packets that are coming through and the packets that are sent from on this IIS machine and we'll be able to log that. So I'm logging right now with a filter so it'll only show me packets that have this IP address in the source or destination field. So let's go on to the scan and let's see if packets start appearing. So let me just press the enter key. And once that's done, the scan will start. Here we go. Okay, the scan has started. And it's discovering some open ports. It's giving me some pings, some information about what ports have been discovered. There are some TCP ports. And let's just keep going. And if you look at the Windows machine, the IIS machine, you'll notice that there are packets located in the Wireshark. So the packet trace has started and showing me source IP addresses with that IP address and also destination IP addresses where information is being sent back to the machine running Nmap. Now let the scan continue a bit more. Notice how we've got ports here that are open. There's a 80 port, which is the, the web port HTTP port. There's a web server running, so we can tell that by looking at that port. Let's just see what else comes up in the scan. I'm doing this live, so 
I'm seeing exactly what's going on. It's 54.5% done and tells you a remaining time of how long it'll take to possibly complete. So we'll just wait while that runs. And as that is running, let's talk about some of the, the other ports. So if you look at some of the ports in that list, we've got 139, 445. If you didn't use the minus VV command, you wouldn't get all this detailed information. So using the VV command will give you much more detail than previously would recorded. So let's just go through and make sure this finishes shortly. It shouldn't be too long, but uh, let's just see. This is what a hacker would use. They would look at this information and I'll explain what types of things they would look for to steal data, to find vulnerabilities. So with the ports, port 80, we talked about being a web server, port 139 and 3389 are for remote desktop. Port 443 is for HTTPS. And uh, what else is there? Let's just keep going. Wait for this to finish shortly. It takes a little while depending on your connection speed and things like that. So it's completed. Almost done. So let's just scroll down a little bit. Here we go. It's giving me obviously more details here because I've used that VV tag. It's providing a lot more detail. So here I see some interesting things which I'll explain. Now you see this Windows running on this. It shows me the HTTPS port, NetBIOS ports. It also tells me that it has an IIS machine. And if you look up here, 8.5, that being the version. A hacker would look at this information and say, what are the vulnerabilities on an 8.5 IIS machine? And this information is available on the internet. So because of the version number, the hacker could use it to figure out where the vulnerabilities are and attack the machine based on those vulnerabilities. That's why this information is so powerful and this type of software is freely available. So let's just keep going and you'll see that we also have the OS system, which is listed as the OS side of things. Let's have a look we, because we asked for the OS scan. Notice how it tells me it's a Windows machine. It's doing a, giving me a Microsoft machine. What else is it giving me? Let's have a look here. It's telling me IS server for Windows Server 2012 with this particular standard release. So think about these vulnerabilities are available on the internet for this particular version. A hacker would then use this to go and scan for flaws or vulnerabilities with that particular release. And it's giving me a trace route. So showing me exactly what the trace route looks like. So as you can see, this information just by running the Nmap software has given me so much detail that a hacker would use to then find out whether the machine is worth attacking, where the holes are, what is the weakness in that particular system. So as an ethical hacker, you know that by using the software, you can actually find out if there are holes in your network or a client network and figure out exactly how to fix those vulnerabilities.